नमस्ते माई नेम इज़ नंदिनी शंकर आई एम एन इंडियन म्यूजिशियन एंड इट्स रियली अ प्राउड मोमेंट दैट आई कैन कॉल माई सेल्फ अ म्यूजिशियन टूडे बिकॉज आई कम फ्रॉम अ फैमिली वेर म्यूजिक इज रिस्पेक्टेड रेवर्ड एंड वर्शिप्ड माई ग्रैंड मदर इज पद्म भूषण डॉक्टर एन राजम द वायलिन वर्चू ओसो माई मदर इज डॉक्टर संगीता शंकर द हाईली अक्लेम्ड वायलिनिस्ट एंड बींग बॉर्न इन सच अ फैमिली यू नेवर रियलाइज वॉट यू हैव एक्चुअली स्टेप्ड इन टू द लेगेसी दैट यू कैरी सो एज अ किड यू नो प्रैक्टिसिंग वॉज जस्ट वन ऑफ द अदर थिंग्स यू डू जस्ट लाइक यू ब्रश योर टीथ यू टेक अ बाथ यू गो टू स्कूल एंड यू प्रैक्टिस इट वॉज समथिंग दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी डन एवरी डे सो आई वॉज जस्ट थ्री इयर्स ऑफ एज वेन दे प्लेस द वायलिन इन माई हैंड्स and uh, you know just like all parents have to try various tactics to make their children do something so similarly my mother and grandmother they used to keep teddy bears in front of me and tell me okay they are listening to you so you'd better practice properly so sometimes it was loving sometimes it was jovial sometimes it was really strict and sometimes you know i used to only practice so that oh my god they should not get angry you know and not only that of course uh, in my from my mother's side it's been very musical but even in my father's side my uh, father is also very musical he is a singer himself apart from being a qualified chemical engineer and uh, lot of people in his family also sing are very musical people so i was literally brought up in a house which was filled with music filled with all of that and uh, that's a childhood that i really feel grateful for because not everybody gets that kind of an atmosphere and uh, so i started practicing when i was 3 and then as time progressed uh, when i started hit- hitting the age of 12 13 that's when i really realized the true value of what i have in my hands that's when you actually start loving it even more and put all your heart and soul in it and um, that was also the time when uh, you know you start getting a little into studies and when you're 16 17 there's 10th standard and what to do which stream to take and you know i was one of those kids who was very bindas about studies i would study the last day and you know i still managed to top the class so i was the nerd of the class and uh, so in after my 10th it was a question of you know aage uh, padhai mein kya karna hai so then i opted for commerce so that it would help me also pursue my musical career and i went on to do chartered accountancy those four years i think were probably the most toughest of my life because uh, i had um, i had my chartered accountancy classes i had my office i had to do riyas every day i had concerts and that was just around the time that i had joined uh, sakhi that is uh, koshiki chakravarti's all girl classical musical band so that was my first time with collaborations working with musicians trying to manage studies everything at the same time and ca is really difficult so uh, i mean when i look back at it i know that that was probably one of the most stressful times of my life but somehow i sailed through and uh, i mean it's it's been such a good uh, journey you know and uh, after i cleared my ca luckily i got out in the first attempt after i cleared that i did work apart from ca i also completed my masters in music so with god's blessings you know uh, academically i have my feet in both places and now the question is okay after you've worked hard for 4 years what do you choose i mean what do you do and then you know after some time the answer becomes obvious so i did work in a very nice firm for 6 months they were very supportive or and uh, they were also allowing me to pursue my music which is like the best thing ever but uh, the commitments my musical commitments were getting extremely busy so then i had to take a call and uh, i think it became inevitable that it had to be music
that I spent 20 years of my life already in and uh, which allows me to travel, meet new people, see new faces and uh, so I took that plunge, I took that leap of faith and since the last two years I haven't had the time to look back. Also, being a musician gives you such varied experiences in life, you know. I have been to so many countries and, you know, recently I went to New Zealand and I did a little bit of skydiving and glacier hiking. So, you know, this is a profession very suited also to my hobbies like travelling and adventure sports. Uh, so, I think that is really good. In the last two years, ever since I have become full-fledged into this, of course, I have been performing since I was eight, but uh, I have learned so much over the years. And uh, people often say that, uh, okay, you're from a musical family, so maybe uh, you have that advantage and you don't need to work as hard. So I completely agree with the fact that we do have an advantage. Me, uh, we as in me and my elder sister Ragini, she's a violinist as well. So we do, do have that advantage. But uh, it's not true that we don't have to work hard. We probably have to work much more hard than any newcomer because when a newcomer sits on stage and performs people are waiting for something new for something nice so even if he makes a couple of mistakes it's okay you know you're forgiven but then when the moment people know acha rajam ji ki granddaughter sangeeta ji ki beti stage pe aa rahe they expect the standard that our grandmother and mother are at their ages to be present in my sister and me at our age you know, and uh, I was just talking to somebody else the other day that, uh, you know, uh, having a really good uh, background gives you maybe three, four, five opportunities. After that, it's all up to you and all up to how you do it. And also today's audiences have changed so much. Today's way of uh, uh, expression of music has changed. Today's way of propagating music has changed. So we have to continuously adapt learn, improvise, do new things all the time. I have been trying in my own way to add my spunk of creativity in everything that I do and uh, venturing into new areas and arenas as well. So that's also a big learning. I mean, I recorded my album, uh, first album a couple of months back and you know, I learned so much in that process and there are so many experiences and so many struggles that one goes through. And honestly, I'm really enjoying that phase of uh, growing each day, learning each day and the best part for me is when I play something or I play a beautiful phrase and it really touches the heart of the listener and I can see it on their face. All the struggle is worth it when what I strive so hard for and the joy that I feel I'm able to bring a, 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 bring a small part of that joy in the listener's hearts. So that's what I live for. Where I see myself in the next few years? Uh, so I used to be a person who was very focused on, uh, you know, uh, very focused on 5-year goals, 10-year goals, etc, etc. But somewhere along the line, somewhere along the journey, 
I realize that uh, you know that's not how God plans life, and especially when it comes to things like popularity and you know stuff, the material stuff. So you can't really decide when you will get something that you are destined to get. You know, all you can do is put your hundred percent in each day, take each day as it comes, and feel productive at the end of each day. You know, so that's when I decided that you know how do I want to be remembered. So I want to be remembered as the musician who put her hundred percent, put her heart into everything that she did, and you know that I want that to really reflect in my music and be remembered for that. Thanks.